It's really nice to hear some good news in the entertainment industry, or at least something coming out that I am kind of looking forward to because we're getting word that there's going to be a Top Gun 3 and Top Gun Maverick is a movie that I really enjoyed when I first heard about it. I didn't think much of it because it's like, okay, a sequel 30 years after the original that no one's really asking for. But when I saw it myself, I, yeah, I really enjoyed the movie and it was fantastic. One of the best ones of the year. I mean, just the perfect action movie and no wonder we're going to get a third one because not only was the first one very successful, grossing nearly $1.5 billion globally, but it was also well received amongst critics and audiences. But let's just check out what they have to say about it right now, because there's not a ton of details, but there's a little bit so far. Top Gun Maverick co-writer Aaron Kruger is penning a script for what would be a new installment, and sources say Maverick director Joe Kaczynski would also return to direct. So, so far, so good about this. We got the original team behind the first one or the second one, for that matter, returning to do this one. So, yeah, I mean, everything that you could ask for so far. And before we continue, make sure you also hit that subscribe button. And if you can, leave a like on this video because it really helps out the channel. So let's get back to it. Puck first reported the news of Kruger's involvement. The intent is to reunite Tom Cruise with his next-gen co-stars, Miles Teller and Glenn Powell. This is me just speculating because we don't know any details, but I think what they're going to be doing with Top Gun 3 is kind of have Tom Cruise pass off the torch to the younger generation. And the reason I think that is because I don't expect the studio thought Top Gun Maverick was going to do nearly as well as it did. I think in their minds, it was a sequel for a recognizable IP that could probably turn a decent profit at the box office because eh, it's just kind of a fun action movie. But since it blew up, they're like, whoa, we need to milk this cow until it's dry. And that's why they're doing this third movie. And I think if this one's also really successful, then they'll try to continue on with the younger cast because even though Tom Cruise could still do it, I don't know if they would want to continue on with him since he's older. And this does seem like something that studios would do now is bring in a younger cast and then just kind of pass off the torch to them. I hope they do it in a kind of a dignified manner. Uh, I don't like it when they kill off the legacy characters, but y you know, I mean, things like that happen. So We'll see. I mean, I don't even really necessarily in and of itself have a problem with killing off legacy characters, just handle it in a dignified manner. But we'll see what happens, because like I said, this is just my opinion. But this is all predicated on Top Gun 3 actually being really successful. And I don't know if that's necessarily going to be the case. And this is why I have my doubts. And that's because Mission Impossible 7 was kind of a disappointment for Paramount. Now, this was one of those movies that I actually thought leading up to it that it was going to be another billion dollar movie because Tom Cruise was still writing that high Mission Impossible movies have always been pretty decent movies. I mean, me personally, I even like Mission Impossible 2, even though it feels the most different from any other Mission Impossible movie in the franchise. I enjoyed it as just kind of a dumb action movie, but Seven I thought was really good, but it was still a disappointment. You can see right here, it only made $566 million globally on a $290 million budget. So that's really not too good for and which was really surprising for me, considering that this movie was really well received amongst critics and audiences. And in order for Top Gun 3 to actually continue on as a franchise, it would need to be a successful movie. And if the studio kind of has the idea that, OK, it's a Tom Cruise Top Gun movie. The last one was really good. Then maybe this next one will also be a huge hit. And like I said, I think they can keep the budget low enough where it could be successful, but I don't think it's going to be nearly as successful as Top Gun Maverick was and whether it's successful enough to continue on with the franchise. Well, that remains to be seen.